Hi everyone, welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS exam. Here we can see this is the question. An 18 years old man undergoes a tonsillectomy for attacks of recurrent acute tonsillitis. While he is in recovery, he develops post operative hemorrhage. Which of the following vessel is most likely? the culprit so here we can see an 18 years old man undergoing tonsillectomy and during the post-operative period suddenly he develops hemorrhage so we have to find out the source of the hemorrhage here the options options are facial vein external palatine vein external carotid artery internal jugular vein and none of the above so we have to find out one of the option which will be the answer of the question so here we can see this is the palatine tonsil here and we can see this is the blood supply that means the artery supply and venous drainage of the tonsil and first of all we can see this is the capsule of the tonsil then this artery the tonsillar branch it arises from the facial artery and we can see this is the vein which is the paratonsillar vein so source of blood will be a facial artery or the paratonsillar vein or external palatine vein we can see some other structure but we are confined to the paratonsillar vein and facial artery so in this picture we can see this is the tonsillar branch of the facial artery and here this is the external palatine vein of the facial vein we know the arterial wall is more thick on the other hand the venous wall is less thick so artery usually occluded but the vein it may be uh, slap out and the hemorrhage occur so our answer is the external palatine vein which is branched from the facial vein and these external palatine vein may causes a hemorrhage during the post-operative recovery time following the tonsillectomy so our answer is the external palatine vein thank you all